Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit. And in this video, I wanna share with you a specific type of item that you should be on the lookout for at thrift stores, garage sales, auctions, Facebook Marketplace, so on and so forth, to make some really good money selling on eBay or Amazon FBA if you're approved in this item. So without further ado, let's dive into this video. So what we're talking about today is DVD box sets. So these are sets of DVDs where there's multiple DVDs in one set, a box set, right? That's where the name comes from. So the reason I like DVD box sets in particular is because they tend to do very well compared to just a DVD that has maybe one DVD in the case. So what I wanna do is dive into my computer right now and share with you 15 examples of DVD box sets that sell really, really well on eBay. Now, I do wanna say, if you are ungated in DVDs like I am, a lot of these box sets are gonna sell for 30, 40, 50, 60% more on Amazon FBA. Now, before you go out and you start selling DVDs or any item on Amazon FBA, if you don't have a wholesale invoice, you always have the risk of getting suspended or even just kicked off entirely if you can't prov provide that you have you know, a wholesale invoice. So I take the risk. I know a lot of people who do, you know, I got a buddy of mine I was just talking to and uh, he's spending $40,000 a week on retail items to send into Amazon FBA. And he doesn't have wholesale invoices. So there's always a risk, right? I'm not saying you should go out there. If you're someone who doesn't like to take risks, don't do it. But for someone like me, you know, I buy a lot of items on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, thrift stores, so on and so forth, and sell them on eBay and Amazon FBA. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but let's get right into it. So here's a DVD set that does very, very well. It's called The Pretender. Check it out, season one, two, three, four, five. All of them sell extremely well. They sell great used, they sell great new, and this is a lot of five uh, that sold for $180. And guess what? 100% used. So look out for that title. Here's another one. I've never flipped this one before, um, but I was actually looking it up because I just sold a DVD on Amazon, uh, Lost Season 3, for 40 bucks. It was brand new. I picked it from a flea market for, uh, what did I pay? I think I paid like five bucks. So I made like $30 profit on it, which was fantastic. And I was just scanning through and I found the Lost World, looked it up. These do well on Amazon. They do well on eBay. This is Season 2, sold for $72 right here and you can see there's six uh, various cases inside from episodes one all the way to 22. Very cool. Here's one that uh, can make you a ton of money. So you guys know my friend Vinny, I'll put him on the screen. He bought a pallet of media from Savers in our local area. This was probably six, eight months ago. And uh, I think he paid like, I don't know, Vinny, comment down below if you're watching this, but I think he paid like 100 or 200 bucks for the pallet. This was in there brand new sealed. And correct me if I'm wrong, Vinny, but I think he sold this for around $300 brand new. And you can check the eBay sold listings. These things sell whew, extremely well. This is a 2014 DVD box set, 29 disc CD, John Ritter's in it. Uh, this sold for $85.95 used. So if you come across Three's Company, remember there's different versions and sets and seasons, but uh, if you come across this, you know, big, big money. Here's another one right here. I actually just popped on this the other day. I bought a brand new one that I'm gonna be flipping on Amazon. Uh, this sold for a best offer under $62.99. I know on Amazon, these things are selling for two to $300 new. Um, I think they're selling for around $100 used on Amazon. And a lot of the prices are just extremely inflated on Amazon just because most people can't sell DVDs. They're, they're gated. Um, you can go to a distributor and get a wholesale invoice, submit that to Amazon and get approved, but Amazon's making it more and more challenging. But Godzilla DVD collections do extremely well. Here's one that I picked up. You probably saw this in one of my videos like three months ago. This is the Powerpuff Girls and uh, this is the 10th anniversary collection. This sells anywhere from $150 to $300 used new on eBay, on Amazon, they're going for even more. Really interesting. You might be thinking to yourself, who in the right mind is gonna pay this much money? Well, you wanna know what? It's not your job to figure out why they're doing it. It's just your job to go find them. 175 buckaroos. Next on deck, we got Love Comes Softly. 
I don't know why I said it like that. 10th anniversary collection. I've never found this, but I've been on a lookout for it. I've actually been trying to pop on these on eBay, but these things go for a lot of money. I don't know what is so special about this. Uh, the older the DVD sets that really have a lot of popularity attached to it, and the anniversary collections tend to do very well. $114.98. Description says, has all 10 DVDs. All are used and have light scratches, but all have been watched somewhat recently. Interesting. So who would have known? Next up is it's Gary Shandling show. This alone on Amazon, brand new, uh, is selling between five to six hundred dollars. Now it does have one hundred forty thousand rank on Amazon, which means it's not selling super hot. I like dealing with DVDs that are under a hundred thousand rank on Amazon, but this thing's selling all day long for two to four hundred fifty dollars. Two to four hundred fifty dollars, based on if it's used or new. I don't know why. I don't know anything about Gary. Um, I don't know anything about this show. All I know is if you find this, bada bing, bada boom, the profits are coming soon. You're gonna need a broom to freaking sweep up all the money on the ground. Unsolved mysteries. Grew up with my mom, Mama Profits, on the couch. This is before she learned about selling books. She would sit on the couch for hours watching Unsolved Mysteries. Bada bing, bada boom, the profits are coming soon. $64.99 on this item, one bid. We got Abraham Lincoln thinking, um, the Loch Ness Monster. So these are Unsolved Mysteries. I thought that, is that a mystery of who killed Abraham? I thought we already knew that. Next up is another TV show that I don't really know much about. Sold for $80.99 used by BBC. Uh, Bali Kiss Angel. I've never heard of this show. I think this is a UK based show. You know, I found it very interesting just going through the sold listings. A lot of the UK based shows tend to do really well. $80.99. This thing flips all day long on eBay. Next up, we have UFO. I actually popped on this at a uh, at a, uh, a flea market. I think I showed this in one of my previous videos. This sold for 65 used on eBay. I actually found this exact set. Uh, did I find it new or used? I found it used. I think I paid $27 at a flea market. He was asking like 50, you know, I broke him down, got it for 27. This sells on FBA used for I think over $80. eBay sold for $65. Be on the lookout for that. Next up, you know, we talked a little bit about Abraham Lincoln on the Unsolved Mysteries. Here we have a mini series, part one and two, George Washington. I've seen this DVD box set in the sold listings quite often. Uh, $89 used. Really? Yes. If you find it, pick it up, pop on it, and make that money. Here we have a, 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 a box. I can't even get my words out of my mouth. I'm so excited. A uh, Road to Avalia. Avalia? I've never heard of this. I did buy this box set recently um, on eBay. I forgot what I paid for it. It's on its way to me, but I'm going to be sending it into Amazon FBA. This freaking show sells for a lot of money. There was 25 bids on this. This is very, very popular. Um, I don't really know what to say, but if you come across this, bada bing, bada boom. Keenan and Kel, I've talked about this um, multiple times in some of my previous videos, but the old Nickelodeon DVDs, um, there's specific titles that sell really well. I forget the two redheads that I had, the, the redhead boys that I had on that DVD set. Um, I forget what it's called, but I popped on those uh, on Savers, at Savers recently for $5.99 each. They're selling for $40, $50. One of them I actually got listed for over $150 because it's brand new sealed. This is Keenan and Kel. This is used. It looked shiny like it was new. This sold for $74.95. This is the sold listings I'm showing you guys. $74.95. This show is absolutely hilarious. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, seasons three and four, $74.95. If you come across this, pop on it. Uh, Power Rangers, right? For any... Uh, the folks in their 30s right now, you know all about the Power Rangers. This sold for $69.99, the complete series. And this is something to, to be on the lookout for. A lot of these, um, you know, various items that, you know, were popular uh, for the people who were in their, you know, late 20s, early 30s, a lot of these things like the Pokemon cards, the Power Rangers, this stuff's very nostalgic. Nickelodeon, you know, there's a common theme here. This stuff's resurfacing and, and people want it. How did the prices come about for these items? It's supply and demand, it's popularity. The more people who want it and, you know, the, the less amount of these items, the more money it's gonna go for. And last but not least, I actually just sold this one as well recently. Uh, this sold for $99.99. I popped on this at a thrift store for, I think I paid $3.99 at Savers. This sold for $99.99 right here. Uh, this isn't my listing though. Um, I sold mine on Amazon. But anyways, um, yeah, 
2013 World Championships, Boston Red Sox. Be on the lookout for box sets DVDs that are centered around like a sports team or um, something to do with sports, right? I've been seeing a lot of these types of items that do really, really well in the sold listings. So if you're thrifting, if you're going to Goodwill, Saver, Salvation Army, if you're at auctions, garage sales, if you're seeing box sets, the least you can do is just look them up on eBay or scan it with the Amazon seller app. If there's, if it's sub 100,000 rank and it's selling for 50, 60, 80 bucks, sub 100,000 rank on Amazon, even if you don't sell on Amazon, there's a good chance that there's gonna be a demand for it on eBay. If you scan it with the Amazon seller app and it's 300, 400, 500,000 rank, that's getting really high. I'm not saying it won't sell on Amazon ever, but it's, it's a slower seller, right? That's like an equivalent of like a, five or a six e-score i feel like for the booksellers out there but those higher ranks it doesn't necessarily mean there's an audience on ebay so you know this is why i love selling on amazon fba and i source a lot off of ebay to amazon fba is because there's that arbitrage opportunity uh, but it's only with certain items um so you got to make sure there's some demand there but uh hopefully this video opened up your eyes to the profits that can be made with dvd box sets now it's just up to you to go out there and find them and make it happen. So with that being said, keep on picking and making that money and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.